In the Dutch city of Tilburg, the bookshelves and tables in public library de bibliothèque locale fill a vast shed where locomotives once sat. Opened in 2019, the library sits in a former train depot that dates back to 1932. The library is one of two repurposed old buildings cited at an ongoing exhibition that seeks public feedback on future plans for the old Kalang Airport, among other current and future recreational facilities and amenities in Singapore's central region. The other example, the London Transport Museum, opened in 1980 in the former Covent Garden Flower Market, which began operations in 1872. Organized by the Urban Redevelopment Authority URA. The roving exhibition, currently at Kalang Wave Mall, is part of the agency's public engagement for its upcoming recreation master plan, which will be incorporated into the next draft master plan to be launched in 2025. The latter master plan will guide Singapore's development over the next 10 to 15 years. Responding to queries from the Straits Times, URA and the Singapore Land Authority SLA said that the old Kalang Airport site is envisioned to feature lifestyle and recreational offerings amid mixed uses in future. Adding that these users will leverage the site's rich heritage as Singapore's first purpose-built civil international airport. Officially opened on June 12, 1937, the airport served Singapore from that year till 1955, when its functions were replaced by the former Paya Lebar Airport. Several buildings and structures of Kalang Airport were gazetted for conservation on December 5, 2008, including its terminal building, two administrative blocks and a hangar. The authorities are seeking feedback on activities the public wants to see and do on the approximately 10 hectares site, which also includes conserved gateposts and lamp posts. Ideas on how the former airport, currently undergoing refurbishment works, can be made accessible and exciting for locals and tourists are also being sought. URA and SLA said that in previous engagements with industry stakeholders, repurposing the site for lifestyle, recreational and community users were among the key suggestions raised. The agencies added that they will build on such suggestions. As well as ideas submitted during the Recreation Master Plan exhibition in reviewing plans for the former airport. Heritage author and blogger Jerome Lim suggested a transportation gallery could be set up on the airport site. Adding that future public access is necessary for the buildings to be better appreciated and their stories told. Asked if there are concerns over whether future developments in the area might overwhelm the former airport site. Mr. Lim said, there certainly would be concerns, especially in view of the scale of development that the URA master plan indicates. Plots in and near the airport site have been zoned for commercial, mixed-use and hotel developments. Mr. Lim said it would be especially important to retain the view of the terminal building from Nickel Highway and the Singapore Sports Hub, adding that it offers the best angle to appreciate the beauty of the terminal, which was modelled after a biplane. It was the view anyone arriving at the airport would have gotten, he said, adding that the sports hub was where the airport's airfield was located. He suggested that other aspects of the area's history should also be commemorated, including its possible ties to maritime trade in the 16th and 17th centuries, as well as the Happy World Amusement Park, later known as Gay World, from which aviation pioneer Amelia Earhart heard Chinese opera music when she landed in Kalang on June 20. 1937, eight days after the airport was opened. It was also in Happy World Stadium that the second Thomas Cup badminton final was held in 1952, said Mr. Lim, adding that it was the first truly international sporting competition that Singapore hosted. URA is also seeking feedback on an ongoing study to assess the feasibility of extending the 10 km southern ridges connections westwards.
referred to as the Reach to Coast Loop in the exhibition. This route could connect parks such as West Coast Park and historical sites such as Pesa Penjang Power District to Ken Reach Park and Mount Faber. URA and the National Parks Board and Parks said the agencies are studying the potential of extending the connectivity westwards from the southern ridges to connect to the foothills and waterfront. Forming a loop with a series of attractions such as heritage sites and repurposed buildings along the way when asked for more details on these plans. This route would include plans by NPARKS to connect the 13 parks in southwestern Singapore through paths and trails. To provide more nature-based recreation opportunities and enhance connectivity, they said, adding that other possibilities for the route that are suggested by the public will be assessed. URA said that Pesa Penjang Power District can potentially be planned for a mix of uses, including workspaces, residential, lifestyle and entertainment activities, given its rich industrial heritage, distinctive character and waterfront setting. The district's two decommissioned power station buildings are currently tenanted out for use as an events and entertainment venue and a virtual production studio. The agency added that it will consider proposals from an earlier ideas competition as it studies long-term plans for the district, adding that it is, as part of the ongoing Recreation Master Plan exhibition, seeking feedback on how we can activate the waterfront to enrich the overall experience. Also being sought are ideas for how colonial bungalows in the Mount Faber Mid-Hills area and Alexandra Park, most of which are currently tenanted out for residential use by SLA, can be repurposed for public use as part of the proposed reach to Coast Loop. Examples of such bungalows cited at the exhibition are 6 Hyderabad Road in Alexandra Park and 11 Keppel Hill, formerly known as Keppel House and thought to be built in the second half of the 1800s for a senior manager of Keppel Harbour. Singapore Heritage Society President Fozzie Ismail said the society hopes that the function and history of each heritage site and structure in the proposed reach to Coast Loop will be captured and adapted to current times amid potential new uses. Calling the proposed route ambitious due to its diversity of attractions, Mr. Fozzi said the society hopes that the individual identity of each neighbourhood in the loop will be highlighted and that the existing heritage of the areas will be incorporated into future growth and development. He added that these sites will make for a stimulating residential environment in the future Greater Southern Waterfront, which comprises 30 kilometers of coastline from Pesa Panjang to Marina East, as residents will have a range of activities and sites to get involved in and visit. Referring to plans for other recreational attractions in the central region, Mr. Fozzi said the society hopes that future plans for the former Tanjong Pega Railway Station will be thoughtfully considered such that they hold spaces that enhance human lives, instead of being overly commercialized. He added that the unique traditions, people and culture of the southern islands and Pulau Brani can be brought forth more to honour the heritage and the communities that previously inhabited them. Showcasing the diversity and using the island spaces sensitively will make ecotourism more authentic and inviting, he said adding that the islands should be affordable to get to and easy to access. Apart from land-based activities, the authorities also want to know what water-based activities the public are keen to engage in at Kalang River, Singapore's longest river, which spans about 10 kilometres from Lower Pierce Reservoir to Kalang Basin. One possibility might be allowing more to kayak between Kolam Air Kayak Shed closed since 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic and Kalang Basin. The route is currently available only to those on guided expeditions with safety measures in place. The public can find out more about the Recreation Master Plan and submit their ideas on URA's website.